Uh, exciting day. Thank you, Mr. FedEx, for dropping off. We're upgrading. The uh, Old Town 120 here that you see uh, is sold and on its way out. And this one's on its way in. So a little bit of an upgrade here. Great guy. Folks, well, here we are. Just getting to this. Literally just had to go out of town. I had it covered, but somehow we still got some crap on there. Woo! Um, we're just beating up the kayak. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyways, there's the PDL drive. There's the seat hold clasp thingy with thingies. I did get covers. That box over there has covers. Man, how did this stuff get in here? It's been the first day I got it, and then I just covered it up when I went out of town, and yeah, get the leaf blower out. Anyways, okay, here we go. This going here. Let's come out. bar just kind of holds the I guess these washers nope not the washers just the screws go back in oh. I don't see washers in the other ones hmm. oh some screws here or something Those in the pocket. Okay. This guy comes off. Trash. These guys go back in. it nice and straight Get out of there. yeah I probably could have used the drill for the, oh 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 whoa whoa that's not good oh these little short ones that's what the short screws are for <laughs> All right, I watched the video, like un somebody else's unboxing video. Whew, good thing I didn't cramp jam down that on that thing. Good thing I didn't use a drill, because these little screws got to go in here. Makes more sense. Again. Goes in nice and easy. And there we go. And this is the actual seat, adjustable seat deal here. Slides back and forth. And there's an upgrade for this. I'm gonna get <clears throat> from the VAR that gets rid of this here. Okay, that doesn't have to be too tight. Comes off. <coughs> Hello, PDL Drive, baby. This is the reason I got it. Well, I mean, obviously, having two other Old Town Sportsman's. 
Well, it'll probably take somewhere. Um, and I was looking at Hobie's, but every friend that I have that has a Hobie has bought it, had to buy a drive like within the first year. <laughs> and this is five years. So I've got a five year warranty on it. All right, let's go up Yeah, five year warranty. I have to go over and get my uh, snips, which I just saw in here. Oh, look at a bottle of water. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Try out the cup holder. Oh, it works. <laughs> All right. Strappy downy. Using the old famous uh, Old Town box with all the stuff. There's some screws in there when we need. Look at that beautiful PDL drive, baby. Alright, there's some work I gotta do on this guy. Pick up that garbage later. Ah, beauty. Oh, he's still strapped in. Whoa. Definitely gonna have to get used to that. My front face, my front facing the rod holder after I catch a fish is on the other side on my other two kayaks so uh, this is gonna be weird because I'm usually landing a fish here and putting my rod on the other side and I'll be landing a fish here because that's kind of where I've been la I land it and then when I had the rod here I don't know I'll figure it out it's gonna be weird though going to be weird come on at least the PDL baby I want to bring this over. I get to see how heavy this thing is. I think they said it's about 20 pounds. But, oh wow, that's light. <clears throat> Way lighter than my uh, little handle here. Way lighter than my motor guide motor. Which is part of the reason why I'm upgrading for the, to the PDL. Um, one is you can go to the bathroom right through. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can. <laughs> um, but... Uh, one is, you know, exercise, part of my thought process. Um, the other is I don't have to have a motor every time I go out, which I did with the paddle, or I just paddle. Uh, it's dirty already. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna wire this up. I'm gonna mount the motor guide on the front, so I will be able to do that. But I also have the option to just PDL it. Stuff to so. it. Do this chair since we got it unleashed now. Oh, got that. Some parts in there I need. I love this. I'm going to figure out if I'm going to put my battery, probably put my battery in here. And, uh, it comes out. And then just wire it this way, leaving the hull open for storage. So I'm going to try to just store my rods in here because I saw somebody do that. I'm like, oh yeah, I never thought about that. But, makes sense. Totally makes sense. All right. So, these guys. So basically if you put the clip on the front, it should give you more, should give me more ability to, uh, to slide. Let me see if that makes sense. Front. Yes. So that would be actually give me more ability. And the Navarre things that I'm going to get actually eliminate this cord here because it just has little it just locks it in there because this is just kind of weird and wonky but this is what they came up with um okay how do I get that on there um okay that way yeah hello so yeah this is kind of weird and wonky how that works um it goes on like that Pull that up and
Okay, so that's good, just like that. And that kind of slides back and forth and these Navarre uh, deals actually keep that from moving around so much too, which I think I will like that, <clears throat> like that better. So this is kind of cool. This is different than my other one. This has a little, little net here. So you can put tackle boxes here as well as a couple under here. I've heard people complaining about the, the way this is molded in, but with this little net here, that is like a non-issue, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. Maybe not so humble opinion. All right, are we running here? It looks like we're running here. Oh yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, this deal here, it's kind of nice. And then you just kind of flip that up. I'm gonna strap these guys in. So you strap the chair in. And then this is a nice little storage situation here. That, uh, yeah, it's pretty loosey-goosey. So, maybe I mount a box in here somehow for a battery. I'm looking at the Rhino, 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 Rhino box, I think it was called. Definitely got to get my leaf blower and just blow this crap out of here. But, oh, I like that. That's cool. That's something my, my paddles, my paddle kayaks did not have. So, very cool. So, what, one thing I've also seen is folks putting a cushion here because they're saying that their, their butt's getting, uh, This one. button is hitting that and it and it kind of wears on your butt which I can understand so I can tighten that up that one too all right I love this about the old towns figure out how this goes here we go is this paddle storage is just unmatched i don't i think this is just a beautiful system and uh keeps your paddle out of the way it keeps it locked in it's a nice clip you don't even have to lock it in you can just press it in if you're kind of going back and forth but when you're cruising or you're using a motor just pull this guy up and strap it in so another feature that i love 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 about the old town sportsman's or i don't know i guess all the old towns have this it's a beautiful thing excellent yeah that pops up like that whoop pops up like that when you're ready to go all right so just have to install this knob here this actually keeps it from turning and that turns the rudder this puts down the rudder oh yeah there's also a fix for that sideways rudder situation from navarre which i'll also probably get but you see that steers steers that guy i just got to get this knob put on here and we're done this thing's like ready to rock and roll can't wait to get out can't wait to get out a ton of storage up in here a ton of ton of storage and ergonomically it's just like my other kayak all that it seems like it has more almost more room even with this i like this for the rods kind of little rod holders here and then i go back in there so Loving it. I'm going to take it out Friday. Um, probably just keep it on the trailer and trailer it. A little bit heavier, so I think I'm going to kind of move into using the trailer more often. And uh, yeah, so that is the unboxing of the 2023 Old Town Sportsman uh, 120 PDL drive or PDL. And uh, again, thanks for hanging out with Lucky and Blessed Fishing. We are an organization that um, that does special needs events for uh, fishing events for individuals families and, and organizations 
and uh, also have a YouTube page where I go out and just catch a bunch of fish and also share some of our adventures. So thanks for stopping in. If you haven't already, uh, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, make a comment. Tell us uh, what you think about uh, this, this uh, old town kayak here today. And uh, also, if you guys have one, what kind of modifications you've done and what's your, or what's your favorite modification that you've done. And, and we're going to be doing a lot to this one. This is just the baby stages. If you've seen my other kayaks, uh, you'll, you'll know that we do a lot of stuff. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.